Good morning, everyone. Today I finish under with my group members, Lakpa, Sumit, and Prasi are here to present a poster on the topic gender inequality between workers at the workplace in the Nepal based CG company during the last five years. And so let's uh, begin with the introduction. Generally, uh, gender inequality refers to uh, unequal treatment which is given to both men and women working in the same department at, this, uh, at the company. Now this research is conducted to find out the gender inequality problems in this CG company, uh, which is a multi which is a multinational company and is, has been has been operating its 136 companies in different parts of the globe. As being a multinational company, while doing the research, we have one we are not able to find out the gender inequality in this CG company because we have gone through many of the vacancies such as like uh, they are giving the they are providing the vacancies such as sales manager they are not. Uh, like pointing out the person is male or female, they have just uh, written uh, attractive salary is to be provided or vacancies such as uh, a vacancy such as uh, providing like uh, persons who have the driving license are given the most priority uh, but not uh, described. That's the that's that type of vacancies they have been providing. And while talking about the aims, uh, aims we aim at the. We aim to discuss about the gender inequality problems that are being faced by the employees. Like uh, some of the, some of the, like not talking only not talking about the CG company. Many of the companies uh, like across the Nepal, they have uh, been like discriminating employees. Like if the if the in the sales manager department they want to hire employee, if they have hired a male, they provide ten thousand salary, and if female are hired, some of the vacancies they have gone through and they have given eight thousand for the same post, that way they have been discriminated. And while talking about the objectives, uh, our objective is to know about the gender inequality problems in the company. Our uh, motive uh, is to provide the examples, some of the examples such as uh, I have provided earlier in the introduction part, and to find out the barriers and gender pay gap. Now I would like to call Sumit for the further presentation. Very good morning, everyone. Uh, myself is Sumit and I'm to, going to talk about methodology and literature review. Uh, first, uh, first of all, we'll talk about methodology. Uh, uh, in this study, we employed uh, we, empl uh, we we employed qualitative data, uh, qualitative data. We use secondary source of data to collect to collect the information to collect the information like articles, journal, uh, journal report, uh, journal reports. Books and various various website. We select uh, nine articles related to uh, our topic and conduct uh, uh, conducted uh, scanning involve all group members. Then we went through some literature review <coughs> on these sources uh, on enhanced uh, our understanding and uh, concept knowledge. Uh, and uh, we think uh, quality method is be, uh, best for this poster presentation because. We may or uh, may or may not uh, find uh, in, inequality in in in, uh, in this company in, in this CG company. Uh, now I'd like to talk about literature review. Uh, the purpose of the, uh, the purpose of the, uh, this literature review is to know what what are the effect inequality <coughs> among the employees working at same department in the same organization. Uh, many times uh, the question has been raised. Um, Rise that how gender uh, how gender discrimination affect the affect the workplace uh, workplace at the CG uh, CG comp uh, we find at the CG company uh, company vacancy for men and women uh, were announced and for men and women were uh, were uh, announced and seems to have no problem in the workplace between workers. Uh, uh, CG company is a multinational company uh, which operate which operates on uh, which operate on the 36 um, uh, th 36 companies uh, across the global and CG company indicate that there have no uh, been inequality problem um, both men and women are being treated equally on uh, on the basis of promotion and gender uh, pay gap uh, women are given equally job opportunity promotion and pay Pay, uh, and management may consider re uh, revising some HR policies so that they are 
beneficial to uh, to the employees, which also provide ecological to work hard for the employees. Uh, thank you, and I'll like to call Lapa for next time. Good morning, everyone. Uh, now I'm going to uh, talk about the results and discussion of our uh, research. Uh, <coughs> first of all, coming up to the uh, aim and objectives, uh, we, we have found that result out that uh, uh, there is no gender inequality uh, in terms of uh, pay gap and uh, glass ceiling effect uh, through various uh, job vacancy portals and uh, and uh, with their detailed salaries and everything and their requirements uh, at that time. Like uh, senior uh, in senior positions like Sneha Sakke as senior executives uh, and few others to name like Nirwala Bhattrai uh, and Arati Kawal, uh, senior executive, uh, uh, they have been hired in the same time frame as the, uh, the vacancies and uh, the, the vacancies that showed uh, salaries as well as uh, their positions uh, so that uh, there is uh, no any glass ceiling effects at, as mentioned, as they are in higher decision-making positions as well, and the salaries are mentioned uh, in uh, previous uh, the <coughs> advertisements. So, however, however, the national and uh, global uh, data show that uh, there there is a huge uh, <coughs> gender pay gap. Like in developed countries, uh, like uh, Australia, there is 18% pay gap. Uh, in recent research uh, in 2016, and US and UK have 17.5 uh, to 17.4 uh, gender pay gap, and and our national census also shows that there is a <coughs> gender pay gap uh, in uh, in the census of 2011 and 12, like of 17 percent compared to 12.5 uh, percent uh, of uh, 1996 and 1997, and this 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 arises the question to our our limitations of uh, <coughs> research and research methodology uh, this was that uh, <coughs> uh, we did our uh, literature review as an qualitative uh, analysis uh, only so uh, we, we we could not conduct uh, <coughs> uh, interviews and other uh, other uh, research uh, due to our time time and cost constraints and uh, rather and other than that we just focused on Two issues like the pay gap and uh, <coughs> pay gap and uh, glass ceiling effect, but there are other factors also which may affect, which may show that there is gender inequality, like uh, <coughs> gender segregation of work and uh, uh, diminished uh, responsibilities or interview questions uh, that are asked differently to male and female uh, as well. But we could not uh, conduct such uh, uh, issues, uh, <coughs> take such issues. <coughs> And also, uh, Kathmandu uh, Post stated uh, uh, in their article that uh, there is no any uh, proper proper uh, uh, <coughs> mechanism of uh, data collection in uh, Nepal that uh, that exactly points uh, number of uh, male and female uh, uh, are uh, uh, that are appointed in uh, the uh, in the positions they have been uh, advertised. So this this makes our limitations. Uh, uh, to through the research and also the CG's uh, secondary data is not sufficient enough to uh, not sufficient enough so uh, on, based on those two things we can uh, assume that there is no gender <coughs> inequality but the other factors may also uh, may also point out to the inequality uh, factor so uh, this uh, this gives openness to the research furthermore and <coughs> And for for the further conclusions, I would like to call proceed for proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Lakpa. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Jessie, and I'll be concluding this research. So everyone should be treated equally and not on basis of gender, caste, and religion. If done so, they might not be interested to work and uh, might cause conflict. As we focused on two different topics, that is uh, glass ceiling effect and equal pay. To analyze this research, we went through various uh, various job vacancies announced by CG Group and came to know that uh, there is less influence of uh, inequality in pay and glass uh, in pay and glass ceiling effect. Everyone should be treated equally and not on the basis of gender. Uh, as as, a, as my previous presenter, Lakta mentioned that the research is solely focused on uh, glass ceiling effect and uh, gender and equal pay. 
to copy and not on sexual harassment, diminished responsibility, gender segregation of work, or interview questions such as, uh, as interview questions as in the question, different questions asked to the uh, candidates by interviewer in the basis of gender. So uh, we did not focus on these topics due to lack of time and uh, due to lack of the resources as well. So uh, with this, I would like to end my point here, uh, conclude this presentation here. Thank you.